All right, how's it going, everybody? Today we're doing some more Nomad Survival onto one of the last weapon skills I have to max out as well as get the second relic. And uh, I'm interested to see how this one goes because I don't think it's going to matter that much. Um, <laughs> it's going to be in Tangle. Um, and we're going to be maxing that out and getting the second relic. I know with the first relic, it'll create this little AoE circle that deals some DPS, but I don't think it's that impactful, so... We'll, uh, we'll go cultist and nomad as always. Um, I'm looking forward to see if the second relic is, you know, impactful at all. I just finished doing the immaterial cloak video and suffice it to say, I was extremely underwhelmed. Um, that was awful to say the least. Um, yeah, it was not good at all. The ability just did not really have that big of an impact on the game. And the relic didn't help at all either. Um, so I'm hoping to see that the second relic for Entangle actually has some type of impact. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be very sad. Um, for this one, I'm going to go increased weapon skill size as always. That's good for both Cultist and the Entangle first relic. Um, I'm not sure if Entangle ever gets to a point where it hits multiple enemies, but that would be pretty cool. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Nothing can be worse than what I just did, so... I have a optimistic outlook. <laughs> Granted, I'm not seeing the skill at all. So that's always a red flag. Alright, there we go. So all Entangle does is I'll try and try and see it. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Right? Oh, I missed it. Basically you're just looking for these green vines coming out of the ground and holding an enemy in the same spot. At level one. See right there. Oh, it died. Everything's dying too quickly a little bit, but yeah, so right right next to me, it'll be right like here on my screen, you'll see an enemy that's being held by these green vines, like right there, and that is what it does. It just kind of holds them there. I don't believe it has any impact on bosses, but it can hit anything else. I'm just going to take Colorless Glyph to... Ease some pain. Weapon skill size is pretty good on the cultist in general because it actually increases the AoE of the corpse explosions. And that is really, really strong. The cultist in general, definitely possibly my favorite character. Uh, it, it can one-shot any, any AI outside of the bosses but the the real big deal is that it can one shot the on dry marsh the crystallized chests and on this map the portals they're technically ai and it's able to target them and that saves you a ton of time when maybe you're getting surrounded by ai or you're just honestly not trying to spend that much time i enjoyed on this map because it saves me Saves me time running back and forth in between the middle and the end of the roads. Unless you're fortunate enough to have the portal spawn in the middle. But I believe you need to be away from the middle for it to spawn in the middle. And most of the times I am just standing in the middle. So odds are normally ends at the end of the street. Granted, you can be like standing here just a little bit outside of the middle and have it spawn in the middle. I just am generally moving so much through it that that's not the case for me. And the SP cost for this is solo. See, like, that just, it just died immediately. It got targeted, it got one shot. Super duper nice. What am I looking for? Entangle. Well, the game said not today. So that is always a grand old time. 
hard to stay positive when you miss out on all of the free, well not free rerolls, but your early rerolls and you don't get the relic that you're looking for. It really just means it's going to come down to luck and we'll, we'll see how lucky I am. Which I have to say, I have been pretty fortunate to generally get exactly what it is I'm looking for. I would say the game. I don't know if there's some type of modifier that lets you see what it is you're looking for. Whereas like, you know, if you have a weapon skill upgraded, the chest has a higher higher chance to drop that relic for you. But I can't complain. The only two that have ever really been a pain for me were Magic Missile, which took me around four hours to make the video. And um, Color... No, not Colorless Glyph. It was Curious Wisp. That one just didn't seem to want to drop for whatever reason. My single target's a little doo-doo, so this boss fight is not going to be the best thing in the world. <laughs> and the fact that your ability doesn't target him. You, you don't do a lot of damage. So it really just depends on if Chain Light Chalk wants to hit it. Luckily, it's not really fast or anything like that, so... Not something you really worry too much about. Okay. Wow, yeah, the game just does not want to give it to me. Okay, well... We got a couple more chests coming up, and we'll see if that is possible. I generally hit and tangle almost every round. Um, it's not something I would say that I don't see very often, so... That's kind of disappointing, but no big deal. I've never actually maxed the ability out in general, so I'm not sure what it does at level 10 also, so that'll be interesting to see. It doesn't really seem like weapon skill size has been impacting it that much. Alright, let's see how this goes. Like I said, Cultus is so nice for that. I'm not getting any bonus rolls either. So that's kind of sad. So we have, let's see, the boss chests at 14 and 21, and the portal chests at 15, 20, and 25. So we got five more chances to hit it. I'm optimistic. Granted, not super hopeful. I feel like if I don't hit it in the rerolls, I don't really have super great odds of hitting what I am looking for. Cultist's ability is so strong. You could honestly use just that and one other ability. So take something that's good at single target so that you can kill the bosses and you could just use the cultist weapon ability to clear the mobs I honestly don't really think you need any other clear you oh you could grab a special sword too special sword always very very good with this which I think I actually got a relic no I didn't so I have three kind of <laughs> three kind of useless relics because I don't actually have those abilities. And yeah, with Spectral, with Spectral Sword, Cultus is just very strong. If we're lucky enough to get the relics that we need and we see the end screen for the DPS on this, 
You'll see your weapon damage all the way up there. One of the few characters that actually will have a very high weapon skill damage. Kind of just act like the bosses aren't there, basically. They're just another mob. I wish you could target the specters. That would make killing him a little bit easier with this character, but... I wish not act like it's there. I'll grab energy wave since I have the relic. You can see how big they are at level 1. It's kind of nuts. And I don't have to worry too much about movement. It clears very, very well in front of you. Please? Oof. Nice. Okay, we got one. That's good. So what this first relic does is drop these green circles whenever it hits someone. So those those green circles deal DPS. It's not a ton, but it is some damage. So it's already better than a material cloak. 100%. <laughs> It's summoning a lot, too. Um, that's not something you could really pay too much attention to while there's not a ton of mob spawning, but uh, looks like it hits for around 100. Which is not bad. This poor boss is just like, can I please die or kill you? Kind of like Mr. Meeseeks, you know, I wasn't meant to be al alive for this long. <laughs> skill size does impact how large these circles are, though. So that's another reason why skill size is pretty good here. The only unfortunate thing is they don't really last for that long. But they would probably be a little bit too strong if they did. Just because it looks like, you know, you're summoning about, like, ten of them at a time, so... That would be a lot of just kind of free damage. I'm interested to see if the max level of Entangle actually has some DPS component. Because I'm not sure if you guys just saw, that level right there actually had a plus two base damage to it. All right, game. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's check out the second relic. 10% chance to instantly kill when first entangled. That is pretty good. And a 10% chance is up there. Um, the passive that is the instant kill chance is only a 1% increase. So 10% is very, very, very high. The game, however, is not wanting to give me Entangle. I think I'm gonna have to take... I'm gonna have to take rerolls on my next couple of chests to kinda guarantee that I get what I need. This is... I, I'm already level 63. That's a really high level. Don't do this to me, game. But yeah, 60, 64 by 20 is really, really strong. It's like, I could also take the level and see if taking those extra levels gives me, you know, a better chance. But 10 rerolls versus 1 level, which is going to be 2 rerolls, I'd rather take the 10. Because I'm not having issues leveling up right now. Cultus has such good clear speed that you don't really have to worry about things dying. We just need two more levels. Oh, here's the boss. I was not paying attention. This is going to be an annoying boss. 
to say the least, without, you know, good single target damage. Luckily, it's very slow, so I actually can stand next to it and let pure, uh, sorry, Colorless Glyph deal some damage. Also, these laser beams do have ends. You can run to the end of them and just walk around it. This poor guy. It's like, you get so close, but just not close enough. Alright, just one more level. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Um, both of those kind of not relevant. I'll take the rerolls again. Hopefully to theoretically guarantee that I will hit max entangle. In situations like this, I just wish more mobs spawn. Entangle duration is doubled. Okay. Not super relevant because if anything gets hit by them, they're basically dying. But pretty good. Basically guarantees that it's going to get hit by the circle. So not the worst thing in the world. Not the best thing in the world. We'll see what the... Oh my god. SP regen with the cultist is so good. Your screen just turns into a red mess. And it already casts pretty fast. Oh, nice. It spawned right in the middle. Very kind of you. Well, I'm getting really unfortunate that I'm not targeting it. Looks like Entangle can't hit the portals. Yeah, nice. So, I'm assuming this last one just does base damage. Oh, duration plus one. Interesting. So, the Entangle lasts for even longer. I mean, overall, it's not bad. I am interested to see what the DPS is going to look like at the end of the game. Um, Cultist doesn't really give a lot of other abilities a chance, honestly, to hit enemies. Because, uh, I mean, it's one-shotting everything. And then you throw in Spectral Sword. So Spectral Sword will have pretty good DPS, but everything else, not so much. Chain Light Shock has a chance. I mean, it does very high DPS in general. But, we'll see. Entangle is pretty good on these last mobs. These, I don't honestly know what you want to call them. Manta ray, flying devil fish. <laughs> um, they have really, really high HP. Um, probably the highest base HP out of any mob in the game. Um, I would say the slimes are a close second, but their HP is up there. So, it's pretty nice being able to just stop them. Not that I'm too concerned about killing things now, but still, still nice. If I would have been grabbing the levels um, on the chest outs outside of doing the... Um, what would you like to call it? The rerolls? The plus 10 rerolls? Um, definitely would hit level 77 on this run. Um, I think the cultist is the best class to go when you're trying to hit level 77 for the achievement. Um, it just has the highest clear speed, without a doubt. Uh, you can worry less about how quickly you're clearing the mobs when you're playing the cultist. 
I mean, if I really wanted to, I could run away from the boss and just clear things very slowly. But things spawn so slowly when the boss is around that it's just not worth it. I, I saw this guide where it wanted you to play Dry Marsh for the level 77 challenge. And it's, it's, not, it's not that hard to do. So I would just... Oh, I died. Uh, these red orbs, I just never pay attention to them. But I, I wouldn't worry too much about doing level 77 on Dry Marsh. It would have you run around to each corner whenever the boss spawns. And that's just such a large waste of time. I mean, it would take you like an hour. So just play Crossroads. Play Cultist. Very simple. Uh, like I thought, my weapon skill is the highest DPS. That was very, very strong. And Tangle, <laughs> not, not very good. Um, I, I feel like... This kind of has the same issues that a Material Cloak has. Um, I would say it's more helpful than a Material Cloak because a Material Cloak has the AI run away. And when you have it maxed out, all of the bonuses, so your Relics and the level 10 bonus for a Material Cloak, increases the damage, uh, your crit damage and movement speed whenever it's active. But when it's active, all of the AI runs away from you at a very high speed at the max level. And this makes it to where you're not really hitting anything anyways, so all of those bonus, like the bonuses that apply, not very relevant. Uh, Entangle, at least, keeps the things in one spot. It's not like it's pushing them away or anything like that. Its damage is okay, uh, not, not very, you know, <laughs> great, but definitely better than Immaterial Cloak. I would still only give the build like a 4 or 10, though. Um, it's just not good. Uh, doesn't really do anything for you. Kind of same thing as the Immaterial Cloak. Very rarely do you need to worry about actually dying. Especially from just the normal mobs. Um, you you kind of have to be going out of your way to put yourself in a bad position to die to those guys. So this, having it you know, hold AI in one spot... I just don't think it's really that important because it's not really if it was hitting like hundreds of enemies at the same time that'd be one thing but it's only hitting like 10 and if there's maybe like 50 things spawning at the same time that's not really going to have a big impact so yeah definitely going to give the build a 4 of 10 if you guys have any questions or any ideas on what builds you would like me to go let me know below as always and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you on the next one